Introduction The First World War led governments to think about the foundation of an international organization to prevent wars. Therefore, the foundation of League of Nations was one of the issues included in the 14 points program of the American President Woodrow Wilson. Accordingly, on 10th January 1920, at Geneva in Switzerland, the League of Nations was founded. In this chapter, we will learn about its aims and objectives, its structure, its tasks and the reasons for its failure. Aims and Objectives of the League of Nations The aims and objectives of the League of Nations as mentioned in its constitution were 1. To establish world peace and security 2. To establish friendly and cooperative relations between nations 3. To solve international issues with peace, avoiding wars 4. To ensure that all the member nations remain secular and independent and that all follow the rule of the League of Nations for the sake of national security. 5. To ensure that all member nations obey the international law. Structure of the League of Nations Section 1. Assembly the Secretariat Head Office of League of Nations was at Geneva in Switzerland. The administration of League of Nations was to be run by three main sections Assembly, Committee and Secretariat. Let's learn about each section in detail. The first section was Assembly. The members of the Assembly were the representatives of the member nations. Each nation had right of one vote. One of the representatives was elected as the president of the assembly. The role of the assembly was to look after the plans and programs of the League of Nations, control the other branches of the League, discuss issues disturbing international peace, etc. Structure of the League of Nations Section 2 Committee The second section of the League was the Committee. The Committee was the executive body of the League of Nations. The Assembly sent its recommendations to the Committee. The Committee included five permanent and four temporary members. England France, Italy, Japan and Germany were the five permanent members. The four temporary members were elected by the Assembly from the representatives of the member nations. The main tasks of the committee were to implement the decisions of the League of Nations to solve the crisis among the nations and control the Secretariat office and handle issues related to world peace after passing every decision by majority. Structure of the League of Nations Section 3 Secretariat The third section was the Secretariat. The Secretariat was the office of the League of Nations. The chief of this office was known as the Secretary General or the Secretary. The committee appointed the Secretary with the permission of the Assembly. The principal tasks of the Secretary were to look after the administration of the League of Nations, register complaints coming to the League of Nations, collect information about grievances, keep the documents of administrative works, pass information about decisions of the League of Nations to all nations and execute the decisions of the Committee. International Court and Other Organizations The Permanent International Court was established by the League at The Hague to provide legal advice to the League of Nations, 
study and give justice on the crisis among the league's member nations. It had a panel of 15 justices from different countries for nine years' tenure. The International Workers' Union comprised international workers' organizations, international intellectual and educational organizations, economic committees, etc. The League of Nations also established a committee to look after the empires of the defeated nations in the First World War. The Tasks of the League of Nations The League's tasks can be classified as political and the non-political work. Let's learn more about each type. The political work to avoid wars and establish peace in the world was the main political work of the League. During 1920 to 1930, it solved about 40 international complaints. Examples of the League's success include The issue of Sweden, Finland and Holland The border issue between Turkestan and Iran The border issue between Albania and Yugoslavia To undertake voting in Saar province and hand it over to Germany The war issue of Greece and Bulgaria Attack of Italy on Kaifu Island It may be noted that these issues were among the small nations. The League was not successful in solving issues among the powerful European nations. Examples of the League's failure include the 1935 attack of Italy on Ethiopia in Africa. Hitler's attack on Austria Japan's attack on Manchuria The attacking policy of the dictators The social work The notable successes of the League in the non-political fields include the following It organized a conference against slavery and compelled all the nations to legally ban slavery its economic committee controlled the duplicate international currency and determined the gold-based currency value. The International Health Organization started movements against diseases like leprosy, malaria, cancer, etc. and availed health-related connections to many countries. The International Workers' Union organized the International Workers' Conference to form rules for the improvement of workers' condition. The Intellectual, Educational and Literary Organization organized conferences on knowledge, arts, literature and promoted research. The International Transport Organization formed international rules for transports. Reasons of the Failure of the League of Nations The reasons of the failure of the League of Nations were The selfish and contradictory policies of the member nations Lack of faith in international cooperation and lack of coordination on the part of principal nations like France and England Rejection of membership by America Lack of military power to punish rogue member nations. Due to the failure of the League of Nations, the world was once again divided into two groups of aggressive nations leading to international crisis.